Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and in this class we will do a 15 minute yin style stretch for your thighs and hip flexors. You might want to add a blanket for underneath the knees as padding if you're sensitive there and your blocks close by, one on either side of your mat. Come into tabletop pose on hands and knees and right away we will come into baby dragon, also called low lunge in hatha yoga. Your right foot steps forward to the top of the mat, aligning the right knee directly over that right ankle. You can let your hands come to the floor, but I personally find this pose easier to hold by bringing my hands on some blocks. Let your hips press forward and down. Soften the shoulders, the neck and your jaw. Maybe allow the eyes to close as you settle into this pose. About three minutes here. Notice if you're holding any tension in your arms and shoulders. Try to let that go and focus on deep in and out breaths through the nose. We want gravity to do the work here. And before doing this pose on the other side, we'll do a quad stretch. So lean on your left hand more, maybe remove the block if you had it there, and extend your right arm back to hold onto your left foot or ankle. If you can't quite reach, you could always use a strap and loop it around your left foot. Keep the hips sinking down and find the place where you can comfortably hold this position. Again, about three minutes holding this pose. And always remember, if any pose gets too intense or too much for you, you could always come out of it and do a child's pose. Thank you. 
carefully release the hold of that back foot, bringing both palms back down to the mat and then step your right leg back. Before coming to the other side, maybe make some hip circles, anything that feels good. When you're ready, let's move into the second side. This time your left foot steps forward in between your hands. Again, choose if you want to place your hands on some blocks. And always keep in mind that it's normal to have one side that feels a bit more open than the other. So adjust however you need to, even if that means that you don't go as far on this side as on the other one. Try to draw back your shoulders so that you don't overly round here. And just let the hips sink down. Gravity does the work. This being one of the most intense poses in yin yoga, be open to notice any internal dialogue or reaction that happens. Maybe you get frustrated or impatient or angry at yourself or angry at me. This is your opportunity to become aware of those patterns that no longer serve you. Allow them to come up and try not to judge whatever happens. Second side, coming into the quad stretch, your right hand stays as it is. You can remove the block or lower it one level down if you want to. And then extend your left arm back to catch a, catch a hold of your right foot. Remember that you can use a strap. And normally it doesn't take much until you can feel the stretch in your left quad quite intensely. So if it gets too much, just slightly back out of the pose by lifting the hips a little bit more. Just a tiny movement. Otherwise, we're still pressing the hips forward and down.
Soften the muscles in your face, around the eyes and your jaw. And if you notice your mind wandering, know that this is completely normal. And always just come back to your breath. Let's release the hold of that back foot really carefully. Both hands down to the mat and then step your left leg to the back of the mat. Again, I invite you to make some hip circles or to stretch your right leg back or make some circle with that right knee, whatever feels good. And when you're ready, there's no rush. Come into a kneeling position to close this practice. Close your eyes once again. Come back to your natural breath rhythm. And take this time to check in with yourself if you feel any different now than to, than to when you first stepped onto your mat. Without any judgment, maybe you feel more space in the area of your thighs, hip flexors and quads. And maybe not, and that's totally fine. Hands meet in prayer in front of the heart, taking one last deep breath in and out through the mouth, <sighs> bowing forward, Namaste. Thank you yogis for doing this rather short yin yoga class with me. If you liked it, please let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you again and practice again with you soon. Namaste.